Hey, this is Pastor Jack. What a beautiful day today. The weather is just awesome. Well, we've had the third debate. Both candidates have sat down and told us what they will do and what they won't do. And now it's going to be time to vote. You know, one of the great privileges we have as Americans is that we're a democracy and we have the right to vote. And uh, we can vote our conscience, we can vote a platform, we can vote for a person. But you know, choosing uh, is part of the life that God gave us. You know, when God created mankind, he still put in us the right to choose, the ability to choose. He even knew that a lot of people wouldn't choose him but he loved us so much, he gave us that right. I love you so much, I'm gonna give you the right to choose. You know, in Deuteronomy chapter 30, God makes this statement to the, to the people. And he said, I call heaven and earth today to record your choosing. God spoke to heaven and earth and he said, I'm going to give people a chance to choose. And I want you to record this day, heaven and earth, how they choose. Choosing's important. You know, we choose a wife, we, we choose a house, we choose a car, we choose where we want to live. I guess our whole life is made up of making choices. But in the Bible, this choice that God is is setting before mankind is, I set before you the choice, either choose life or death, blessings or cursings. You know, I had a teacher one time, we were taking a test and it was, I needed to pass this test. And it was like the, the teacher stood over me and, and she's kind of said, she said, Jackie, choose life. <laughs> She kind of whispered the, the right answer into my ear. But, but God is saying, I have set before you. I'm not choosing this for you. You have to make this choice. I set before you, live right or live bad. Live prosperous or live poor. Live healthy or live sick. Wow. He said, I want heaven and earth to record the choice that you make. And then God says, choose life. Now listen to this. Choose life because it not only affects you, but it affects your seed. Wow. So the choices that we make, when we choose life, we not only make it for ourselves, but we make it for our seed after us. But if I choose death, unrighteousness, I'm choosing that for my seed after me. If I choose blessings, now, what person wouldn't choose a blessing over a curse? No person wants to be cursed. But you know, a lot of people are cursed because they don't choose the blessings of God. Because see, the blessings of God come through our obedience to the word of God. We are blessed because we obey the word of God. We choose blessings by our obedience. We accept curses because we disagree with the word of God. We rebel against it, which brings the curse. So God, when he said, heaven and earth record this day, what your choice is, he's saying, choose life. Choose life and choose blessings. He kind of whispers it, choose, choose life, choose blessing. God is urging us on to live in this kingdom that he's prepared for us. You know, Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that life more abundantly. How do we have that light? Because of the choices that we make. You know, you might be listening today and you've made some really bad, stupid choices in your life. You know, I'd have to raise my hand and say, me too. But you know, God loves us so much that when we recognize we've made bad choices, we ask God to forgive us, to heal us. We repent from it and he sets us on a new foundation. Even though we made some bad choices, which we all have, 
I'm here today. I've made some bad choices, but the best choice that I ever made was to choose life. That was to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, to be baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit, to be in a good church, to love God, to love his word, to love his people. And we live, I'm living in therefore the blessings of God. God gave me a choice, Jack. What are you going to choose? I'm happy to say I chose life and I'm living that now. And I'm going to pray the same thing for you today. You can choose life. I don't care where you've been, what you've said. You can choose life today by asking God to forgive you, by choosing life, his word, repent of your sins, your shortcomings, and ask him to fill your life with Jesus Christ, his son. And he will do it, and you'll start living in the blessings of God. God bless you. This morning, I just, I was really thinking about, I just said, Lord, is my life pleasing to you? Uh, I have a good life, but I said, a a am I pleasing to you? I, I, I know I'm a pastor, but it, does my life reflect what you desire in me? That, that was kind of my prayer before I picked up my Bible. Well, I'm reading in 1 Thessalonians 1, 4, 